Welcome to my channel once again. In our previous lesson, we treated uh, some examples on uh, quantitative analysis. So this is the second uh, question on the series. So in this now, the question goes this way. If D, the D is 0 0.175 mole per dn cube ACL, that is the D is the ACL, which is the acid. E is a solution of containing 11.0 gram per dm cube of hydrated sodium trouser carbonate. As I've said, hydrated sodium trouser carbonate, the salt have absorbed moisture from the environment. There is a water, that which is known as water crystallization. So this is the equation of the reaction. ACL plus this. This is, this is the S. We don't know the, the amount of water crystallization in this compound. So at the end, we're going to determine this amount known as water crystallization. So this is the equation. So we say calculate the concentration of the sodium trouser carbonate for salt, which is this NHCO3. So in solution E, in solution E is the base in mole per dm cube, in gram per dm cube. So in this aspect, students should be very careful. If you are asked to calculate in mole per dm cube, you are talking about the molarity, the molarity of salt salt and the molarity is always given in mole per dm cube. So if you are asked to calculate in gram per dm cube, we are talking about the mass concentration, the amount of gram dissolved in 1000 cm cube. That is one dm. Mass conch is the unit is gram per dm cube. So as I've said, that uh, we have two formula to solve. If, uh, if the concentration is not given to us, we can use the mass conch equals to molarity times smaller mass. So we can actually solve for this. So it can be given in this uh, format, the unit of the mass conk, the unit of the molar mass, you can be given in the unit of, the unit of molar mass, as I've said, molar mass can be given in gram per mole. Yeah, they can ask you three, calculate in gram per mole. I'm just telling you to calculate the molar mass of the compound. Yeah, if you're asked to calculate gram per dmq, you are asked to calculate the mass concentration. So yeah, now if you're asked to calculate in mole per dm, you're talking about the molarity, which is the concentration of such substance. So be very, very clear with that. So now we said since, as I've said before, since one of the concentration is given to us, we are going to use the first formula, which is CABA all over CBVB equals to NA all over NB. So in this now, we are going to assume that the title value you use is 21.00 which is VA. VA is 21.00. We're going to use two. The volume of the pipette we use, we're going to let's say we use 25. So let's maintain this 25 volume of pipette we use so, so that we cannot. So in as I've said, as I've emphasized before, please ensure that you know the volume of your pipette in your center as you are writing your exam. So in this aspect, we are going to have uh, the equation. Let's solve solution. Solution. Yeah, we are going to have uh, CA since the concentration of the any of them is given to us. We can have you can use this formula to solve for our other concentration. NA all over NB. So we say CA. CA is given to be which is the acid 0 0.175. So here the VA is your title value. We are going to use 21.00 in this aspect. As I've said before, please your VA is peculiar to a student. So you must ensure that as you are calculating this one is very correspond to your table, please. To your, correspond to your table, what you got in your first second title and you summed it all there and you divided. This is your final end point so we said this we said cb cb is the concentration of what say calculate the concentration in mole per dm cube so we are going to have we don't, this one is not given to us we said vb vb is the concept is the pipette is the volume of the base with pipette that is 25 cm cube we said na what is Na? Na is given to us. The mole ratio of the what? Of the acid is 2. So the Nb, the mole ratio of the base is given to us as 1. As 1. So these are the parameters given to us. These are the parameters given to us. So in this aspect, we are going to impute automatically. Let's wipe this. 
let's apply this so the concentration here of the acid is ca all right the ca we're going to have 0 0.1175 times volume of the our title value is is 21.0 yeah we have cb what is cb cb we don't have cb concentration of the base we are looking for it so vb is 25 so the more ratio of the acid is two ratio one how can we do this we are going to cross multiply let's make the equation linear let me make the, this equation linear since we are looking for this let's this confess i'm going to have cb times 25 times 2 is equal to 0 0.175 times 21.00 times 1 so for us to for us to make cb to be on its own which is the solid of formula i'm going to divide both sides divide both sides by 25 times 2 25 times 2 so if we should divide both sides by 25 times 2 we're going to have a going to have cb times 25 times 2 all over 25 times 2 is equal to 0 0.175 times 21.00 all over 25 times 2 this cancel this cb will now be 70 0.75 0 0.175 times 21. We're having 3.675 divided by 50. Divided by 50, we're having CB. CB is equal to 0 0.0735. So in this now, that is the concentration of the base. The concentration of the base is given to us as 0 0.025. So we have gotten the Mopardian cube of the B. Mopardian cube of the B. So we're going to look at the Mopardian cube, Grandpardian cube of the B as well. Can we wipe this water crystallization? I also look for the water crystallization. So the other one is 11 point. Uh, the gram that is given to us is 11 point uh, of the hydrated salt gram per dm cube of the hydrated salt, the concentration. Hydrated salt. So, since we have gotten all the parameter, I can have a, a clear view. Let's have a clear view. Let's have a clear view here. So we are asked to look for the gram per dm cube. We say mass conk, which is the question I I. I I. We say mass conk. Mass conk in gram per dm cube is equal to molarity. Mo per dm cube times molar mass molar mass gram per mole so in this the molarity of this uh, of this base so the concentration of sodium trouser carbonate so what is the molarity of this base that is given to us that is solved here with 0 0.0.0735 so what is the molar mass of sodium carbonate the molar mass of sodium carbonate would say molar mass. Let's solve for molar mass of sodium carbonate. Molar mass. Molar mass of NaCO3. Yeah, we say the sum total of the relative atomic mass. The relative atomic mass is given to us. The sum total of relative atomic mass is the molar mass of such compound. So we say sodium occurs two times, and the relative atomic mass of sodium is 23. Plus sodium uh, carbon occurred one, and the relative atomic mass of carbon is two, 12. Plus oxygen occurred three times, and the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So we have we have 46 plus 12 plus 48. So that will give us 106. I'm going to have 46 
plus 12 plus 48. So they're going to have 106 gram per mole of this. So we have solved for the molar mass. So in your own separate way, you can solve the molar mass separately on your answer booklet. Answer booklet. So now we got 106. 106 gram per mole. So in this now, you can multiply this times 0 0.0. 735. I'm going to have we, we got 7.7 91 gram per dm cube of B of B automatically of B. Since this is the gram per dm cube of the a hydro salt, a hydro salt that did not, did not contain water crystallization. We, we are giving the, that the hydrated salt, the mass condition of the hydrated salt in the question. Hydrated salt in the question is 11.0 gram per dm cube. So in this now we can solve. See, hence we have solved for this. We can solve for this. Hence determine the value of S in in this. In this. So we have a we have a simple. We can solve for water crystallization by using a specific formula as well. So let's look for water crystallization water crystallization so we said the formula water crystallization we said uh, two water crystallization water of crystallization we said mass conch mass conch of anhydrous anhydrous salt all over mass conch of hydrated salt hydrated salt equals to molar mass molar mass of a hydros as well all over molar mass of hydrated of hydrated so each of these parameters is given to us. We say the mass concentration of the hydrated is 11.0. The, uh, the mass concentration of this, what, what we got from the calculation is 7.79. So mass of anhydrate is given as 7. Points, is given as 7.79. Uh, All of our mass concentration of this is 11.0. Is equal to what is the molar mass of the hydro salt I've calculated is 106. 106. All over here, we said the mass concentration of this carbonate of this carbonate is S water. So here we can say 106 plus can say 18 what? 18 S. 18s. So we said the molar mass of this water is given to us to be 18 gram per mole. So in this now, this is the molar mass of this water crystallization that is given to us here. We are going to solve for S. In this aspect, what can we do? We can make the equation linear as well. Let's make the equation linear. We can say that here we say 11.0 times 106 is equals to 17.79. So we can solve for S. 70.79 can, can have a plus 18 S is very, very clear this way. So this 7.79 is affecting any, any value that is here. So here let's have a 11 times a 106. You are going to have 1166 is equal to 7.79 times 16. That is 106, 7.79 times 106. I'm going to have 825.74 plus 7.79 times 18. I'm going to have 140.22. So for us to have this now, this guy that's in positive side is going to move to this way. So we have 
are going to have 1166 minus 825.74 is equal to 140.22s. So if we should subtract this, we're going to have a 1166 minus 825.74. We're going to have 340.26 is equal to 140.22 s. For us to have s, divide both sides by what? Divide both sides by 140.22 so that this can go away. We're going to, we're going to have a going to have theory four zero point two says all of our one four zero point two two is equal to one four zero point two two s all of our one four zero point two two this cancel this s is equal to theory four zero point two says all of our one four zero point two two so we're going to look for the water crystallization so water crystallization Going to have thirty four zero point two six divided by one four zero point two two. Here we are going to have S is equal to two point four two point four. So two point four. So invariably we can have this that S we can replace it as the value of S is N two C O three. Are going to have two water dihydrate sodium trouser carbonate dihydrate so in this now we have this uh, this s to be two so this is simply the simply the method we can use also for water crystallization and since we are working on the on a carbonate family there is the possibility that you must solve for water crystallization so in our next uh, series of videos i'll come with different way this question will come so so that you'll be acquainted with different method that way this question will appear in your examination please if you should come across this video this uh, uh, video please share and like and as well subscribe to this channel when you visit to this page thank you very much